Hello there, everybody. How's it going? I am Vi- I'm not Vigar. I am Vigar. I am Void. I'm doing the Legends Comedy for today. And today, I am playing as Vigar in the Midland. I've been playing so much of him as of late that I'm sorry to call myself him. Anyways, let's look at the teams here. We have Lee Sin Jungle, Graves, AD Carry, Vigar, Mid, Singe, Dob, Zyra, Support. They have Lee Sin... Rengar, Jungle, Bard, Support, Tristan, AD Carry, Zyra, Mid. Nasus Top. Could also be Bard, Mid, Zyra, Support, but I'm gonna... Yep, it's Zyra, Mid. So, I know I did a Vigar video fairly recently, but, and I don't know why, because of course you very much don't see any Vigar players anymore, Vigar players anymore ever since they changed his E to being a delayed stun and his Q to being a skill shot, but only as of like the, about a few days ago, I randomly got really, really into Vigar, and with how much I have games I have until League at this point, it's very rare for me to actually like play this game just for the sheer enjoyment of it, because, but... Very rarely, I'll just, I just, I'll just find a champion that's like, whoa, I'm with this guy, and Vigar, for some reason, has spoken to me, and I've been playing a metric ton of him. Um, about the past 12 games I've done as Vigar, I've won, like, 11 out of 12, so I've been doing pretty good with him, and I've found pretty good results, and I can find that there's definitely benefits to his skill shot, to his Q being, um, a skill shot. For one, it does a little bit more damage, I think, and it has a longer range, and of course, appears through a minion. Obviously, the delayed stun is no benefit to it whatsoever to being delayed, but it can still very, very, very well zone people, which is a good thing, but we will see. I am against, of course, a Zyra, which, who has a lot of flat AP, probably because she knows Zyra can straight up be very, very, very bursty. So you have to watch out for that, and I actually auto that mean to get it, which was kind of not the intention, but hey, at least I didn't miss that first mean, at least. So... I've played Zyra in rank before because I know that she is, it's very easy to not realize how strong she is. Like, Zyra's damage is actually kind of insane. Um, I know a lot of people nerfed her. It's funny because we have two champions here that are kind of underestimated a lot in my opinion. In fact, they'd probably both go on, like, my list if I had to make a list on underrated champions. Vigar, I just, I just think people look the delayed stun and thought it was he was just awful at that point when in actuality it's really not that bad you know one good thing about the plans i could get a stack off on it but i'd rather save it for these two minions over here which will succeed she is going to try to get some plants off of me if i get that one so i'm just going to pass and i did go teleport i should speak up at that because i found that i generally don't die in lanes by her because i know how to play safe enough with him the ignite's just not really needed because you generally won't be needed to actually kill someone so I found that just getting teleport is nice because you can just, you know, just uh, go back, get your tier, and come back, and, you know, stuff of that nature. I'm going to use my meteor get that, which thankfully will succeed. I'm going to take some damage from the plant, which is upsetting because I did 38 per hit, but I couldn't risk just uh, flat out missing all of it, all the minions. So that's fine by me. No, to be fair, she's taking a decent amount of damage from minions as well, so there is that. I do want to be quite wary of the fact that Rengar could very well show up at any moment, though, and it's upsetting, of course, because... Even if I dodge Zyra's Q, she can still hit me with the plant. But she is, again, also taking decent amount of damage from minions. So it's almost like I'm trading with her without using my mana against her directly. Which, this early in the game, you generally should never be using your mana against the enemy mid laner directly because you just want to use it uh, to get your AP stacking. I mean, later in the game, it'll be fine. Am I... AC? Nope, my AC didn't just turn on. I start paranoid every time I hear, like, I... I hear. Every time I feel like a brush of air in the slice, I'm like, is that my AC? Is the recording ruined now? But I don't think it does. And even if it does mention it, looks nothing's worse. So, up, oh, avoid the root. Yep, hello there, Bard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flash. Alright, so Bard decided he wanted to roam. That's upsetting. Um, if Zyra's root was off cooldown, because that Bard cube was gonna stun me. There was no denying it. And then Zyra could have easily E'd and Q'd me and ignited. And I'm pretty sure I was gonna die. So, I mean, in that situation, heal would have been better, but... Now, I can just get my tier and potentially go back. I'm actually not going to because of the fact that the waves don't push at all. I will miss a siege minion and one minion, which is upsetting. But if I have to, like, you know, go back again because of another, like, bard roam or something of the sort, that would not be very good for me. And I'm not, I'm not directly missing any minions on the turret, but it is, of course, upsetting that I'm going to miss some. But I don't think it's necessarily that bad to save my teleport for the time being. Um, let's try to maybe do this here. Ooh, that did in fact work. The Zyra counter is completely real. Um, can I auto that one? I can. And of course, while Zyra may have the advantage over me now, the hope is 
in time I will get strong enough where sh I will be countering her and she will just have nothing to say about the situation. So I'm gonna try to get most of these minions. I got all of them but one, which is okay. And the flash buckshot from the Graves was way too aggressive because Shastana still had heal. So that will be first blood for them. A lot of people, well not a lot of people I guess, but it's a very easy mistake to make. It's like, that person's low under turret, let's get them. It's like, if it's the AD carry, they might very well still have heal, unless you're positive they don't. You should probably not do what Graves just did, because I have been guilty of doing that in the past, but... That's fine. It's a mistake um, multiple people have made. Thank thankfully, that didn't hit me. And thankfully, we can do a lot of damage here. And I just got a double stun off, which will result in a kill. Which is, of course, very swell and might be another kill for Lee Sin. Looks like we are going quite ham for it. And that auto will allow me to get the kill. Very, very good roam. Lee Sin, or the Zyre actually flashed for me and everything. And thankfully, my team was right there and ready to provide support. The double stun just pretty much secured their deaths. So that was very, very satisfying. I'm, I'm happy about it. Um, I am actually going to stay for one more wave because um, Zyra is going to take a while to actually get here. I do have my ultimate now, which will, of course, give me a significant advantage over the Zyra and will potentially allow me to burst her. No shield. She does have a chalice, which makes things a bit more difficult because, of course, that makes bursting her that, that more... That's the, blah, 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 blah. Words are difficult. Makes her bursting her just that much more difficult because, of course, the fact that she can uh, walk faster. So... Now to discuss my build. I know some people don't actually like Tear of the Goddess, because of course, um, doesn't really give you any direct AP, but I find that the, the mana it gives you, it's just too useful to pass up. So, I'm not going to go straight into it, but I am going to keep on the keep uh, the Tear for a while. What I'm going to do is get Boots and Cloth Armor and um, Cloth Armor. And you, the, you might be wondering, what tech are you doing? Um, I'm probably going to get E'd here, so let's immediately walk back. I, oh, I actually dodged the Q. Um, you might be wondering, what the heck are you doing? Um, your Zyra, you don't need armor, or you're against Zyra, you don't need the armor. But, the thing about Vygar, and the reason I go Archangel Zonia so quickly, is because of the fact that those the, the, the you need defenses ASAP as Vygar. And the, the Seraph Shield and the Zonias give you that defensive capability that you need, while at the same time not, you know, diminishing your AP by too much. The Zonia Shield can save you in so many situations, especially if you have someone assisting you. And the Seraphs have saved me more times than I can count. I know some Vigar people, Vigar players, like to just go like Meryl Namicon, but and that, I definitely can see that build working. But I find that, that the shield that Seraphs provides, along with the base man instead of regen, I just can't deny it. I just cannot say no to my beautiful, beautiful tier. I know some people may disagree, and that's okay, but that's, you know, that's an opinion. So she's actually going to use her ultimate there, which is an interesting maneuver. I'm not going to go in on her now, because of course I lack my stun, but knowing that she has no ultimate is of course a very good thing. We're going to try to wait for our health to get a bit farther up, but and let our potions tick as well. But we can very well get something good out of the fact that she used that. But and let, until we, you know, for sure can, I'm just going to, you know, kind of casually farm, maybe get a, some mana back by just autoing. Looks like some interesting things occurring in the bottom lane. Let's try to queue through that and hit her. That was the intention. That's also a fake out you can do to allow people is Q and Minion to get the farm and then hit them in the process. We'll do it again here. Oh, well, it didn't work that time, but you, you saw it at least once, which is all that necessarily matters. Out of that Minion, so we don't run out too much just by getting AP. Out of that one, and all right, well, there's our mana gone. I'm going to use my stun here, so let's do the Q there. And there's the Ignite. Okay. She used Ignite. I just used my ultimate. This is honestly a fine trade, fine trade, fine trade in my opinion. But of course, we very well could get rooted and just die, which we want to be very, you know, very certain that doesn't happen. So we're just going to go back and get our uh, Seeker's Arm Guard, and because it will allow us to stack some AP that way. Get a health potion, wait for our stats to regenerate. Oh wait, I, why did I think I had teleport? <laughs> I just used it to get back to the lane last time. For some reason, I thought I had it. Oh, well, that's actually potentially a mistake on my part, but it's better than overseeing my welcome and having myself get killed. Um, I may have been able to walk back through the bush when she ignited me and kill her, but I, you know, since I was ignited, she had vision over me, and so it was a bit of a risky situation. Plus, I don't think I had vision at at that particular moment, so that'll be that, but Zyra no Ignite is definitely something I should probably tell the least in. Oh, my Q was not in range right at that, that particular moment. That's a, well, not that particular moment. 
would always not be in range. Range doesn't actually increase, which is as day repairs. Nasus will be killing the Singe because of the assistance from the Rengar, which is fine. And I would roam bottom lane, but I'd really rather do it when I have my ultimate, so we can pretty much guarantee a kill. Tiger also has pretty dang good roaming potential, by the way. You can actually go Moby Boots on him and be just very good at roaming. I just like going Sorcerer's Shoes, but you honestly can afford to go Moby Boots on him, and I've seen it work. It's it's silly, but you can make it work. Okay, use a Meteor and get some CS there. She's taking a decent amount of damage there with her roots, which will mean she has a brief period of time where she can't really say retaliate. And I will get a Q off, which is nice. Oh, all right, there's a guy. She got some damage off of me as well. I see how it is, Zyra. Well, you want to tango with the Rango? You're going to tango with the Rango. I'm not actually Rango, just in case anyone's curious. Um, okay. Neeson's on route. If I can stun her, she's probably going to die. So use the ultimate here, and that will probably be her death. And let's, let's not... <laughs> Uh, I don't want to, you know, overstay my welcome and have her passive kill me. So let's just run. Let Lee Sin get the kill. That's fine. He's fed, which is always a beautiful thing. And let's just go back right here in a very non-convenient spot. But I'm pretty sure Rengar is not located in this general area. So I should be fine. I'm going to go back and get my nothing. I'm not going to buy Sorcerer's Shoes. I really just want to get the Zonies as soon as possible. And that Sorcerer's Shoes, of course, while they're good... It's too much of a deficit for the time being, so I'm actually just going to fly out save my uh, um, money. I know a lot of people don't like when people do that, but in this situation, I just think I should need to get the raw as soon as possible, because getting the raw just helps you so much as Vigar and you know, any champion in general. This isn't my final form. I agree. I agree completely. This isn't even my final form, and I'm glad Vigar agrees with that. Turns out the skin actually has... I didn't know this when I got it, but... Turns out the skin actually has a lot of references, and I did not realize that. Once from once I have Fury, which is a Mario Luigi reference, it's great. It's great. I like it. It's absolutely a beautiful skin. Just want to point that out. I'm not going to geek about too much, but it's pretty darn fantastic. So we're going to kind of zone her right there. There does appear to be a um, Lee Sin buddy, buddy. You need to you need to kind of show yourself a little bit sooner, because otherwise I might have died. All right, he flashed. Oh, he flashed, and that will be a kill. All right, then. You know what? He, well, he didn't show up immediately, but he still got he still got a kill. I my, my flash might have been a bit preemptive there, but I didn't, I just didn't really want to take a chance. And I also don't see where the Trist okay, Tristana is not going to be um, messing with me. I did see Rengar in the distant jungle, but I'm pretty sure I don't need to worry about him. And my goal for stacks, by the way, is 100 at 20 minutes. I don't know if that's like what exactly is supposed to be perfect or how much you're supposed to get, but that's how much I generally aim for because it seems like an ideal amount. So do some damage there, and we can very well roam bottom here and get a kill. If I land a stun Tristana, she is straight up dead. There's no way she can live, because my ult should do more even if she does have heal. So I'm on my way, though Tribush might be warded. In fact, it's very possible it might be warded. I think I think Tribush is warded. Um, okay, that's uh, that's an awkward situation indeed. Let's use our Q and A and use the ultimate right there instead. And there's a Rengar. Well, there are multiple things that went wrong there. Oh, okay, number one, I didn't realize Graves was 0-3. I did not realize he was really, really weak. Uh, number two, I kind of misinterpreted how many minions there were, and the minions actually died, which meant there was a turret in my way, which made things kind of a uh, sad state of affairs. And number three, Rengar was there. Uh, I probably would have died to just on it anyway, to be honest, but Rengar being there didn't necessarily help. But I'm definitely going to teleport mid, so I don't miss any of these turrets. I should probably learn to speak a little bit. Uh, not so rapidly. Okay. Uh, make sure we move immediately there. Use my Q. Um, oh, that actually didn't get them. Get them. That's a bit upsetting. That's okay, though. It's not the end of the world. We did uh, get all those minions, which is nice. And Zyra's scoring a kill, and maybe a kill going to be scoring the Rengar as well. Um, I did get the stuff on the Zyra, but sadly I don't have my ultimate, so I will get her very low. But keep in mind, that's just my WQ. That did over half her health, and I didn't even use my ultimate, which is pretty... Pretty dang nice. Um, I shouldn't, you know, get a bit too over my head, though, even if I have reinforcements here. Um, plus, Graves just showed himself, which isn't too ideal. I'd appreciate it if you don't go in my general direction, Graves, because these are my enemies. I want my stacks. I'm currently at 76, which is pretty ideal. Try to auto these minions a couple times so we can use our key to get some stacks. My ultimate will be up in 30 seconds. So, honestly, a Singe flips her. She's probably going to die. And this dragon is also a nice thing to have. 
Oh, there's the Lee Sin, or the Sin, same thing. Um, use the Q and, oh, he flipped her out of the, the um, Meteor, but that resulted in a kill either way, so it's fine. The auto was enough, so a good roam on Singe's part. And I do want to be wary in case Rengar shows up now. That's definitely something that could very much happen. And I'm not too happy about the fact that Tristan is getting fed, but, you know, some enemies gotta get fed. Uh, Nasus is also fed, which is a concern. The Graves being 0-5 is just something we need to, you know, he probably should stop going in. Okay, well, maybe he wasn't going in, but... I don't know, how did Zyra... I mean, Zyra's fed, but Graves isn't. That's always funny when the support gets fed with the AD carry doesn't, but that's that's interesting. I mean, we are able to get the mid turret, which will at least uh, give us our, our teammates some nice bit of gold. And Singed... Oh, hello. That was definitely Rengar ulting. He's not going to be able to do anything about it, but... He threw a bola at me, which is kind of upsetting. I kind of wish he wouldn't do that. But, you know, he lives his own life and his own free will, so I won't tell him no. Um, I'll try to stay until my teleport is back up. I do want to go Archangels next for the shield. Because, again, that shield is really helpful. And a lot of people don't seem to understand that. Some people would also say maybe Raw is a decent choice. I can definitely see that as well. But this build's just been working for me, so... I'm just going to stick with it, though maybe I should experiment, you never know. I mean, I have one with Vigar Knight as well, but I just find Teleport to be so useful. And I guess it doesn't... Oh, alright. Oh, that's the friend Leeson. I don't know why I keep thinking Leeson's on the enemy team. That's... Oh, I missed that minion. That's a bit of a shame. Blue Luff will also be up soon, which... Well, I do have T, it'll be nice if Leeson gives me that. And while I do normally go Archangels next, when I have enough for a rod, it's very tempting not to go that. So I might just go Rabidons next instead. Um... My tier, you know, will probably be stacked by the time I get my Archangels, which, you know, is kind of annoying. I won't get the Seraphs available instantly to me, but, I mean, it's not like it's going to go away either. Let's go ahead and do that. I should have outed it one more time, so I could have gotten a stack off it, but that's okay. Keep using our key to get some stacks here. Oh, I overestimated the range once again. I should not do that. My mana situation also is a bit uh, not ideal, and, oh dear, the Tristana being fed is... High concern, because it's very hard for me to stun her easily. Because of just how mobile she is. But, hopefully, it's not too big of a deal. Again, we do still have a Fedly Sins, because Fedly Sins can have a trouble um, getting to the late game reliably. It's like, Argly Sins going to go Black Cleaver, which isn't a bad item per se. I just hope he builds tank in the future. So, you know, we have protection for me and Graze. But then at the same time, do we really want him to be tank when our Graze doesn't do damage? I don't know. I don't know. These decisions, or these are thoughts of moral man, like he just doesn't know. Um, can I as blue? I'm just gonna put a question mark to like silently ask if I can have it. Cause you no, know, he's an energy user, so I'd like to have it. If, if he smites, I can't blame him too much, but thankfully he will get it. And the reason I say it is cause you know, he is eight and two. But at the end of the day, I'm doing okay in mid lane, so you no, know, it's uh, it's nice that he lets me have it. Okay, make sure this mean doesn't get too close to the turret. So we can get a stack from it as well. We are at 112 and prior to 20 minutes. So our stacking is doing well. Or just, or just our farm in general. Which I mean, you know, we're just that much stronger, that much quicker. And our gold situation is also doing quite well indeed. Um, I could just potentially go all in on her here. Just to get some good damage off. And that is definitely a Rengar. I don't like the fact that Rengar is here. But it's something I'll buy it to live with. Looks like some interesting things occurring down in the bottom lane. Um, is Zyra going to choose to roam? It's possible. I'm going to push this lane just in the off chance she is. And make it so she'll want to come back here. Okay, use my... I don't know what that was aiming for, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I played like 12 games of Vigar in the past couple days, but... I don't know what that was going for. I, even I still make silly decisions in life, so that's going to be that. Um, and do they even know I'm coming down? Tristan is dead. And I can kill both of them very easily if I land E, so we're going to try to do that. Um, oh, hello. Hello there, friend. Uh, the, the ultimate and the, the, Okay, I got him. Use the Zonias. I'm, I'm probably dead. I'm gonna try flashing. Alright, no. <laughs> he got auto off. There was a very, very slight chance I could have gotten out of that because the Zyra uh, was there to assist me, but <laughs> I died. Probably got a bit over-aggressive there. But I wanted to kill the Zyra. I don't know. That's not really a good excuse. I do at least have my teleport. And I can just straight up buy my... Archangels now. In fact, I think I will do that and just get my Sorcerer Shoes with it. So we can get that Seraph Shield. And after that, now, now is when I normally go Rabadons or Void Staff. They have, Nasus has MR, Zara has MR, I might go Void Staff. 
They're both honestly perfectly fine picks because you just do so much damage as Vigar either way and go shredding through MR is always a valuable asset. But again, they're, they're both pretty dang valuable and I maybe should... No, okay, I don't need to teleport down. I was wondering if I was going to have to do that. Oh, the teleport from the Singe though will drag him into the Graves, which will let the flip occur, which will... Oh. Well, I mean, Singe may have saved him, but at the end of the day, the Graves was going to die. And, you know, their bot lane being here is kind of upsetting because now my turret's going to die and there's not really anything I can do about that. But, you know what? There's just some things that aren't under my control, which is a shame when that happens. Just to try to keep getting stacks, even if there are people judging me, although they're barred. And there are people assisting me right now. We'll use our stun right here and get all three of them. That's extremely... Oh, my beautiful... Oh my god, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm so happy that that just happened. And then we'll Q him and absolutely destroy. I feel so good about that. All three of them were stunned. Ah. Oh. Oh boy. Let me just rest. Let me just soak in my life for a little bit. Alright. What's the Nasus doing? Um, 400 stack Nasus at 21 minutes. I'm a bit concerned about that. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'm pretty sure... I think he's the only one. I think her and Tristan are the only ones who are actually a threat, though. Yeah, Rengar's 144. Zyra's 161. So those two aren't really that bad, but if there's one thing I've learned from playing Zyra, it's it's very easy for her, get to, for her to get back into a game. Because just her general kit makes it so she can just do AoE things and just, you know, get fed that way. So that's a concern. And hello there, Mr. Bard Ultimate. How are you doing today? Let's uh, try to not get ourselves in too bad of a situation. Place a stun there so we don't die. And they are really going for me. I did a bunch of damage in the process to them, which is kind of funny. Oh, I was going to queue to get a stack off of that. And I can get another rod as well, which is beautiful. So I probably, so because of that, we will just go Rapidons. And, you know, to be fair, not be on the whole lot of them are. So I should be able to do that relatively easily. And that will be a kill. Gee, okay, okay. Will I die here? I will not. Okay, I won't die. That is why I go Zonia second. <laughs> Because if I didn't, I definitely would have died there. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go back and get a rod. And I could go rod and plant home from Ludens. But it's really not that necessary as Vygar. The straight, up just, the straight up AP just gives you this that much more scaling. Which I approve of more. Okay, let's go and use some of our abilities so we can get our Archangel stacking. We are almost at Seraph status. Which which will, of course, get me in a better position. I know I've said that a lot. But I just want you know, I just want to stress that fact. So keep using our abilities so we'll have Seraphs in case like a dragon fight occurs. And I think Rengar and... Yeah, Rengar is chasing Singe. So we don't have to worry about a dragon getting stolen, which is why we should do it right now. I'm going to paint them on my way. Actually, I'm going to clear these minions first. I'm going to use this and use my meteor. I'm not going to immediately go to the right first. Now I'm going to. Hello there, mister. Oh, I'm just going to ult you. So that's going to be the end of his life. You <laughs> bet. He went in a not-so-ideal position. Um, I might have just been able to Q to kill him, but I didn't want to take the chance of it not killing him. Which is fine. I'm also going to use my E right there and let um, Zyra kill him. My stun stunned her anyway, but pretty sure the night would have gotten anyway. But hey, I got, I got I got things out of it. I'm actually, I'm also going to go get this blue buff. Um, my farm situation is doing just fine, so I'd rather just let, you know, Graves to get the mid farm. That's perfectly ideal. I'm use the Meteor and... Lee Sin, <laughs> why, why you take that from me, buddy? Oh, well, at least I have Seraph, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I, don't know why, I don't know why I took that. That was weird, because it looked very intentional of him stealing it, but hey, what are you going to do, right? Um, Tristan's corpse is floating. Kind of, kind of concerning, but shouldn't be too bad if we just let her continue floating there. I'm pretty sure everything will be just dandy. Let's go and auto these two minions and do that. I guess I might as well go back while I'm down here, because, you know, walking back is kind of counterintuitive when I can go back and get a blasting one instead. So here we go. We we do have flash and teleport and so we have all of our things up aside from our ultimate. Very good things indeed. Let's see how Sin is doing. The Sunfire Aegis build. Huh. No idea what to think of that. No idea at all. <laughs> not how I would build Sin not how I no how not how I would build Singe, but I also don't really play Singe, so you know what am I to say? It's all Gucci. I will be able to get my Rabbit on as well. 
which is always a beautiful thing indeed. I don't know why it's, it's be I guess a beautiful thing indeed is my saying for this match, because it seems to change every time. And, oh, hello there, friend. Let's just, uh, try to do some damage here. That will be her death. I'm just gonna flash out to ensure I don't take any more damage from the Rengar, because his, you know, his frosting probably would have gone back up to full, and I would have died, so... Rengar trying to give Zyra some things, but it's just not gonna work, because I can two-shot her. And my Rabidons, I very well might be able to one-shot her, or get extremely close to doing so, which is a nice feeling that it might be a thing that'll occur. I'm gonna do a teleport right here, just to um, make some good things happen. Um, hello there, friends. Let's just go and put a stun on you, and then use the Q, and that'll be your death. So teleport right behind him, and just completely destroy his face. You know, that little bit of MR you have from Spirit Visage is not going to stop you from my 877 AP. And I have two more items I can get. And I already have that much, so... I, mean, I guess it's not too surprising because I'm of who I am, but still. And Zyra getting a bit in a bad situation because of that Tristana. She went for the Shiv, so at least we know she's not as powerful as she could be because she's not going Fam Dancer. But, and I know a lot of people might say, well, it gives her more burst. burst. It doesn't really, because... You know, potentially Fan Dancer could give you a crit where Stacks Shiv wouldn't. So that's something you need to keep in mind. Let's go and use a Meteor right here. And then use the Q so he doesn't get that Rift Scuttler. And, I mean, Dragon's not going to be up for my time anyway. But I still, you know, Rift Scuttler is a very useful thing. Might as well get it for ourselves. Get our ultimate leveled up. Pretty sure Rengo's ultimate isn't going to be up for a fair amount of time. Use our Q right there. And... Boop. Alright, just playing straight up lunch. Don't hey listen meme Nobby. I know I know your references by guard. I'm not happy about it. Um Zyra's a bit a bit spooked by me, I'm gonna say. Um in terms of people I'm afraid of afraid of on their team, I'm afraid of Tristana because she's gonna be hard to stun. And I'm afraid of Nasus because he's someone I can't burst. But, you know, that's that's a fairly narrow scope of things when you look at the grand scheme of things. I can't I can't just probably get another rod on my next back. But again, I really don't need to go Loon's Echo. I'd rather go... I'm going to go Void Staff next, definitely. And then after that, I usually just go Defensive. I mean, even if I'm very ahead, I'll just go something like Banshee's Veil or Frozen Heart to give me CDR. Even Namacon to give me CDR because you really just... It's very rare you really need to go another flat AP item or something. Rylize is an option so you can actually kite with your Q. But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. What I am concerned about is the fact that I don't know where any of... Um, them are aside from these two jokesters. Um, I would like to get close to one of them, but that may not be something that will be possible. Use our plan to get a little bit more AP. How much do we have now? 205! 205 AP from our passive. I do have 239 CS, which is pretty good. I actually have more than a Singe, which is kind of a difficult feat to accomplish, but hey. Keep using our Babel Strike. I actually haven't been... I don't... I rarely call my, you know, my abilities by their actual names, because it's just... Just easier to say Q and W and such, but people remember that easier than the name. And they continue getting gold from this. I'm a bit farther ahead than I would like to be. I do have Seraphs and Zonias, but I also have no assistance nearby if you don't count the graves, which that was interesting. <laughs> that was a... Wait, Bard? Did they really just let Bard go? Oh, Magical Journey. Right. There might have been, it might have been a bait, you never know. Okay, if I can stun you. But it's also very possible this is warded. Now she just doesn't want to take the chance of me not knowing where the Vigar actually is, which is also reasonable. She's our W because I don't feel like dealing with you two. And he's the key to get more stacks. And oh, the, the Tristana is going really ham for some reason. <laughs> Bard was not nearly close enough to provide the um, required assistance, so that's pretty good. I can also get a uh, W offers his fantastic. Wait. Is this an AFK? I think Leeson's AFK, and I haven't realized it until now. Um, I'm not happy about that. I'm not going to lie to you. Hopefully it's just temporary, because of course a 4v5 will be kind of impossible when they have a Nasus who's almost 600 stacks. So, hopefully he comes back. That'd be very ideal indeed. At least we do know that Nasus is going to be using his teleport to go bottom, and is going very ham for that to Graves, and will probably succeed in his task. Are you in here? No. Hello, Zyra. How are you doing today? Um, he's not gonna ult. I should definitely leave. Um, Rengar might- oh no, Rengar went bottom, okay. Hey! No! My- I pot- I clicked Seraphs, but it didn't work! Ah, oh, I, I could've sworn I clicked Seraphs. Dang it. 
That's so disappointing because now they're going to be able to get uh, Dragon off of that. Oh god, Lee we really need you, buddy. We really need you. I know level 17 bike are strong and everything, but I can't really kill uh, one on my own. But I am over 1,000 AP with Void Staff now, which is dandy indeed. Okay, there's their dragon. Some China man. You gotta, you gotta understand the, the gravity situation at hand. Um, at least, um, Singe is actually legitimately doing like no damage to Nasus. Like, pretty much no damage. He probably won't. He's tanky enough to pray you probably won't die to Tristana though, because Thorn Mail and. Um, I don't think Tristana understands Singe's build. I don't have a message. Yeah, I don't. That was interesting. I'm just. You know, he tried, I guess. Does Graves want the bomb farm? You can have the bomb farm, Graves. I really am strong enough at this point. My last item will probably be Banshees. Because of stuff like the Zyra Snare and Bard Stun and uh, Rengar Bola. And because, you know, with over 1,000 AP, I really don't need uh, more AP. That's, that's, just, that's fine. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can one-shot Zyra if I can just get to her. So we're going to try to do that, but she's probably not going to be very happy about us attempting to do that. So let's just, uh, no, stay away from me, then, dude. I don't want anything to do with you. I understand you're a nice guy, probably. But I really just don't want to have anything to do with you. As for the Nasus, again, he's easily the biggest problem right now. So I don't know if I can burst him. With this much AP and Void Staff, I might be able to. But it's the uncertainty that it's, that's getting me here. Okay, who and where? We, their bot lane's MIA. I'm going to try to straight up ult you, which will be her death. Um, she doesn't have Zonia's next, which is ideal. That's what exactly, that's, oh, I didn't actually know. So was, I was, you know, half thinking that wouldn't work. Oh, hello. Um, let's just go ahead and not get killed by, oh, hello. Um, use a W here. And there's the Graves. Let's use another Q on him. Oh, it wasn't in range. Um, well, he tried, I guess. <laughs> I, I didn't die, but Graves made, oh, he's, oh, he was lagging. Oh, hello. So we have a lagging Graves and a disconnected Singed. Things could be better for us. I will not lie to you. Oh, dear. It's a 3v5 now. Okay, well, there comes a time in life where you have to make uh, the tough decisions the tough decisions regarding your everything in the world. So I don't know how this is going to go. I'm going to teleport mid just so, you know, we don't lose all faith in humanity. So don't oh, Gleason. He's leasing back. We really... Oh, I think he's back. Maybe. I, I feel like he didn't... know he had the pickaxe before. What am I talking about? Um, use our stun here. We... Oh, oh. That's uh, not going to kill her. I will get the meteor off, though. Actually, meteor's all we'll need. Because I'm I'm relatively powerful, you could say. Leasing, buddy. <laughs> this is literally... This has been a stalemate for like 10 minutes. I mean, it's good for me, I guess, because I'm Vigar, but still. I'm just going to pull you, actually. Because I'm pretty sure he does not. <laughs> That's so satisfying. I'm pretty sure he does not have a means to stop it. Up oh, and the Zyra also doing good things in this role. I'm just gonna meteor her to make sure she doesn't live. Probably should have let Graves get that. Should have let Graves gotten that honestly, but that's okay. Let's uh, just kind of use our W to make this push and go a little bit quicker. And go ahead, go run, Graves. You're supposed to run the stun. Oh well, he still died. He should have ran to the stun though, but he didn't. Okay, that's fine. All of them are dead for the time being. I should be a Brit. Careful. A Brit. I don't know why I said a Brit. There's no Brits here. I w I'm, actually, I am kind of British, just not by a lot. I don't have the accent, clearly. Um, use the Q on you. Use a stun on you. And just, you know, kind of run away because I don't want to fight you when I lack my stun. Okay. Dana Singe, he reconnected, but he's still not moving. All right. Well, this, I guess it's 45 time. And maybe use my E there. Use the Q to get the blue buff for myself, which is nice and everything. Um, I can't get my Banshees. Yes, I can. Okay. Obvious baits are obvious, but I just reveal myself with that Q there. I also want to make sure Rengar is nearby. I have my Shield and my Zonias, though. So things aren't that bad. I'm periodically checking. It's like, Leeson, are you moving, buddy? I miss you. I miss you and everything. He was the most fan of our team. There we go. Bar doesn't have Zonias, right? Alright. Zyra has her Zonias now. Which will make her a lot more difficult to deal with. But if I can stun her, that's also a very good thing. Ow. Alright. Come on. I'm also trying to poke them with my Q at all possible. 
I'm pretty sure I saw a certain Rengar on his way to try to kill me. Yep, yep, hello there, friend. Um, let's just go and do this and then use my Zonias, which is probably my death. Yeah, it's my death. I don't know why Tristana flashed, per se, but that was my death. All right, I need to play more defensive. Me being overaggressive like that is going to cause us the game because, you know, that'll mean, that'll mean we only have three people defending um, each turret. Thankfully, we have a Zyra, but it's going to be really hard to win this when our Graves is not strong. I mean, he's, he's, since, of you know, he's gotten so much farm at this point, he's gotten to the point where he at least has the, his crit items, which helps a lot. Oh, up of the top from the Nasus. Let's be a bit careful, friends. Nasus is, of course, quite the strong and fella indeed with his however many stacks. Oh, oh, the Zyra ultimate, the, the single Nasus Q. Um, I'm going to get my home guard boots because of what's going, how the situation is currently going. And then get my... Sorcerer, elixir of sorcery. Yep, I'm not surprised we didn't win that. I have 100, 1,113 AP. Um, so we killed Tristana, and that's it by the looks of it. All right, that's just, this is good. This is this is not good, but this is could be worse. This could be worse. We have our Banshee's Veil now. Maybe I could have gotten GA, but I would just avoid the situation in the first place, then maybe negate the situation. They're going to go for Dragon. They are definitely going to go for Dragon. I don't think I can stop Rengar, though, because of the back of what he's building. There's also... Wait, are you going to get my blue buff? What are you doing, buddy? Are you in there? You're not in there. Are you over here? You are over here. Can I get the stun off? I can. That's probably you dead. Yep, my meteor just in case. Exactly. Uh, this is the longest day. I'm 14... 15-4, we should have won three times over by now if Leeson was here. But we just can't push or, like, do anything. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, we can win the team fight if we get a good stun from my part and a good ult from Zyra. But, of course, it's going to be quite the difficult issue. I have a thousand gold to spare now. I should make sure to upgrade my warding totem. Uh, let's go ahead and put an E on you and... Oh, no, I missed it. I messed it up. Oh no. Oh dear. Alright, well, try to avoid getting a bit too, you know, a bit too ham here. We do have a Lisa, or, um, singed in our general direction. Nope, watch out, watch out. We want to make sure we're careful. Um, use a Q to make sure he dies. I might have, should, maybe should have given someone else that kill. <gasps> Leeson's back! Leeson's back! Praise the flippin' sun, he's back! Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay. Let's, let's win. Let's win this game, team. Uh Okay. Okay. He's, the first thing he says, not not I'm back. No, it's just immediately bar no flash. I'm glad. I'm still glad. Okay. Um, let's upgrade to the... I'm actually going to upgrade to this so I can... Actually, no, this. So I can check out uh, voices more frequently. And I'm going to make sure to use my teleport here so I can go back and help my team just that much quicker. No, I don't think NASA's teleport at this point is going to be that much of an assistance. So use my thingy right there. And that's going to be... Her. I would I would go flash after her, but she has Zonias, so that'd be kind of a waste. So we're just gonna not. Oh my! Oh, dude, doesn't prop banshees. This is good. This is very good indeed. Um, let's use uh my ultimate on you and just watch you vanish from the complete the Nether and everything that is existing within this world. Okay, use a. I can just use a Q on anyone at this point. They're gonna be pretty low on health. This is just a theory, arguably, but I'm gonna go on a limb and say they might be pretty low on health. Um, the Nasus, though, is quite strong as well. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can, but the Nasus... Please, don't even think about it, buddy. Don't even think about it. Yeah, you know. You know how strong I am, mister. Um, we'll try our best. Uh, use the Zonias. Uh, uh. I don't want to take ancient. I don't want to get too crazy. I don't... Wait, okay, he actually, he actually killed him. All right. That went okay, considering it was the 700 stack Nasus or whatever he was. It's actually, in my opinion, a very bad decision on his part what his building is, when he, what he's building. Because their only way, their only to <laughs> be free, Vygar, be free. Okay. In my opinion, the what he should definitely build is Banshee's Veil. I have no idea why Nasus is building Banshee's Veil. Like, that seems obvious to me, but... Because, like, why would you build Last Whisper? Look how much armor we have. 
Well, I, I for singed, I guess. I guess he just built it for singed. I mean, he has tons of stacks, but look at how much AP I have. But you should, you should build just straight up magic resist. Because me and Zara are pretty much the ones carrying this game. Not to say, like, I mean, Singe is doing well as well, of course. At least and now he's finding it back will pretty much allow us to win this game. But still. Also, do you have... Alright, Tristan doesn't have Banshees or anything. Um, this is good for me. Potentially a... I don't know why I wore that. Um, let's go and try to... Oh. Alright, well, let's just kill you instead. Because, you know, I want to kill someone. And Zyra's just going to kill uh, our other friend. Um, hello there, our good friend... Nasus, I'm calling all of them my friends now, which, you know, if that's a bad thing, then I'm upset about you. Oh, not Zyra. All right, Zyra's AFK, I guess. Not, ha not too happy about that, but, you know, what are you going to do? There's Zyra's uh, Zonias, which is also something that's good that is gone. I don't have my ultimate, though. I want to be a bit concerned about that. And, ah, ping. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you go down immediately, Buster. Okay. I think I can stay. I'm not that low on health, and with my uh, consumables still up, it's not that big of a deal. Um, hello, Rengu. Hello. Are you gonna- oh. You ran away from me. Okay. That's fine. Mm -hmm. What's the plan of action here, team? As long as- let's play Protect the Vigar, it's a very good game. Rengar, hello. There's his Jomu's down, but it's only a minute long cooldown, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, I'm not too concerned about Rengar ults as long as I have my ult and my zonias. But I might go back anyway. Just so I can get... I'm just not gonna CS no more. I mean, you can Lee Sin. Oh, don't. He kept the walk farther than he was supposed to. Okay. Use this meteor to apply some zoning. Double stun from the bar is a bit of an issue. It's okay. It's okay. Use the thing there. Use the thing there. Um, that'll be his death, I believe. We're gonna use the ultimate. Oh! 46 health, though. Graves. Graves, you have to you have to stop, buddy. You have to stop getting yourself in these situations. Um, let's make sure we can't get bush jumped by the Rengar. Okay. Oh, oh, but the the singe, the singe, the... Oh god, I freaked out, I freaked out. Um, use the Q. No! He got me! Ah! Ah, god. Okay. Okay, who's alive? Who's alive? Um, Zyra's alive. Yeah, please go back, Zyra. The last thing we need is for the one person on our team who can clear to leave. Okay. Oh, the Flash. I'm looking the Flash. If he can get that Sonic Wave off, he can't. Nasus looks like... How much stacks? To 888. Alright. God, I freaked out. I, if I just zoned immediately, I wouldn't have died. But I just panicked, so I used my Seraphs as well. If I use my... Just... Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Z um, Leeson killed Tristana, so we need to panic. Again, very bad choice of builds in my opinion. When you have an 18-5-11 Vigar, you should probably go Banshees, Banshees, <laughs> or GA, GA. Both good decisions. Uh, Bard knows what's up. He went Banshees at least. He's the only one on our team who did go Banshees, but at least it's someone. I mean, arguably, you can make the argument that as long as you kill me, it doesn't matter because I'm so easy to kill, but with how much protection I'm receiving from my uh, Zyra, and Singed being just the Singed person he is, it's kind of hard to just get to me that easily. So that's a thing. Now, arguably, I don't even need blue buff, but the CDR is also a big benefit to me. So that's, you know, that's a thing I would like to get up at all possible. Um, where is, what's everyone doing? Okay, they're invading the jungle. Graves can easily sell the dragon. I'm going to get this blue buff. I'm sure it'll be quite easy with just a couple autos and uh, another Q. And my autos alone are doing like 160 because of the Spell Thief's passive thing. So Graves can get that. That's our third dragon. Oh, hello. Oh, there, my good friend Rengu. And Rengu the Brave. Let's go and use our stun on you and completely miss because I'm bad at video games. But, oh, we're almost at 300. Um, let's go and use our... Up. Oh, I was gonna use my- oh wait, he's, he's probably still dead. I'm waiting for the Zonias. Yeah, there's the Zonias. So that- oh, nope. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Thank you. Use the ultimate on the Z Tristan. We did get it off, which is just dandy and fantastic. Um, stay away from Mr. 800 Stacks Nasus. Um, and then get the stun off, and that will be his death. And now Bard's the only one alive. Let's just all pursue him to the end of the Earth. And use the Q to... Oh, he kicked him into my Q. And that is the surrender. 25-12 Vigar, the longest 
game of existence, my god. Well, if you wanted to see the positives of Vigar, that demonstrates them. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment if you have anything fantastic to say, I will be sure to read it, and subscribe if you haven't already, it's a warm fuzzy feeling in my heart. I'm gonna go, uh, praise the sun or something. Have a great day.